Mario here, and I want to talk to you about safety. Well, I think it's boring, so let's skip it and play some games. After all, Wario Incorporated is the biggest producer of video games in the whole wide world. Actually, Wario, Nintendo is the worldwide leader in video games. It's a fun and exciting place to work. We want to keep it that way. Ugh, then shut up and let's get back to the game. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Take it easy, Wario. Nintendo is committed to fun, but we're also committed to providing every employee with a safe and healthy work environment. We're proud of our safety record and know that success in this area is due to the importance we place on safety measures. Every year, people are involved in workplace accidents, and many of these accidents could have been prevented. Safety is everyone's responsibility, and good safety habits are the result of people caring about themselves and their co-workers. Nintendo has established a comprehensive safety and health program to improve the safety and health for all employees at all times. Through this program, management and employees work together to ensure employees are trained to abide with the NMI safety guidelines and the appearance guidelines, both of which have been created with your safety in mind. Safety orientation during the corporate trainings for new employees, continued training during the national meeting, and a management employee safety committee are some of the tools used to eliminate work hazards. These are measured against the goal of zero OSHA recordable incidents. None of these programs will work without your wholehearted support of the safety guidelines discussed in new employee orientation and safety training videos provided by the company. The purpose of this video is to give you the information and support you need to follow Nintendo's safety policies so that we can all enjoy a healthy and safe environment, both at work and at home. At Nintendo, we hold safety and health as our highest core value. Safety and health factors take priority when in competition with economic factors. Let's look at the three major areas of safety, emergency procedures, practicing accident and injury prevention, and employee responsibilities. While making store calls, it's important to remain attentive to all public address announcements. Instructions for emergencies such as fire or storm warnings may include evacuation. Information regarding the route and proper exit keys may be outlined over the PA system. Always observe any safety policies and posted signs regarding evacuation routes, location of fire extinguishers, etc. If you or someone else needs help, Contact store security or the nearest store employee who can alert a member of management. Management is then trained to analyze the situation and to react appropriately. If the incident affects you or the Nintendo area in any way, you'll be required to contact DOTS, your supervisor, and your regional manager. DOTS will instruct you to complete the incident report form. And call the physician outline before you see your doctor. Unless it's an emergency. If medical attention is needed, you'll need to submit to a drug test at that time. For this purpose, you're provided with a drug test kit. Question! Yes, Wario? Say, I fall on my head, you know, from the sky, and my head goes into the ground. Would that be considered an incident or not? Because, you know, that happens to me a lot. That would be considered an incident. You'd be required to call DOTS and to complete an incident report. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you. Box knives are used frequently by retail representatives, and they can cause serious injuries. To protect yourself and others in close proximity, employees should use only the Nintendo-provided safety knife. The use of cut-resistant Kevlar gloves is mandatory on the offhand, the hand not holding a knife. The metal label peeler should also be treated as a knife. Be sure to wear the cut-resistant Kevlar gloves as a safety precaution. Slow down and work carefully. Make sure you're a safe distance from others when cutting and always cut away from your body. When you're replacing dull blades, make sure you dispose of old blades properly. Safety glasses must be worn when working in an area that poses a risk of eye injury. When placing or removing shelves inside a glass case, take the necessary precautions. Also, when the danger of airborne debris exists, safety glasses must be worn. 
foot protection is required for retail representatives. Due to climbing ladders and carrying merchandise or other equipment, socks and proper shoes must be worn. Open-toed, open or sling-backed, or high-heeled shoes are prohibited while making store calls. The Hazard Communication Program meets state standards to protect employees who work with or near hazardous chemicals. The MSDS, or Material Safety Data Sheet, is a document that tells about each chemical in the workplace. It includes information on hazardous ingredients, exposure hazards, emergency procedures, and use and disposal of the product. An MSDS listing can be found in your NMI Safety and Health Handbook. The Safety Committee's purpose is to help find and eliminate unsafe work conditions and procedures. The committee is made up of employees elected by their fellow workers and members appointed by management. Every major area or department is represented. Hey, check this out. Look at me. I'm on the Safety Committee. Come on, Wario. Knock it off. Sorry about that. The committee meets bi-monthly to discuss current safety issues, review incident reports, consider employee suggestions, and forward recommendations to management. They conduct in-house safety self-inspections and monitor the effectiveness of Nintendo's safety program and procedures. The Safety Committee's most visible job is to promote and publicize safety. High-speed machinery with exposed moving parts create potential dangers in the workplace. Do not wear frayed, torn, or loose-fitting clothing near moving machinery or other sources of entanglement. Also, Nintendo provides a name badge with a breakaway back as a safety measure. Ergonomics is the science that studies the relationship between your body, your tasks, and your surroundings. Ergonomics can help you become more comfortable in your workplace. It lets you work smarter instead of harder. Workplace musculoskeletal disorders, such as repetitive motion injuries, carpal tunnel syndrome, and tendonitis, are caused by regularly repeated movement at work, hobbies, or sports. Movements such as pushing, pulling, squeezing, lifting, typing, or twisting may seem harmless, but over time, they can gradually cause injuries. Any job or activity can cause repetitive motion injuries and cumulative trauma disorder over time. Based on personal factors, you may be more or less susceptible to injury. Personal factors? Like what? Well, like inactivity, being overweight, past injuries, things like that. You calling me fat? It's okay, boy. There are ways to reduce the possibility of getting WMSDs. For example, using proper lifting techniques, packing smaller loads, and minimizing twisting can all help in reducing workplace musculoskeletal disorders. Nationally, back injuries are perhaps the most common and potentially the most devastating injury. Four out of five people experience back pain in their lifetime, and millions of workdays are lost because of back pain. The injuries can be caused by poor ergonomics, poor posture, overexertion, improper lifting, or slips and falls. How do you prevent back injuries? Just use proper lifting techniques, such as bending your knees, lifting with your legs, and getting assistance when lifting heavy objects. Utilizing the following electrical safety guidelines will greatly minimize the potential for accidental burns, electrocution, or any other electrical injury. Always remove any high power voltage by unplugging the display before removing any access covers or replacing any electrical components such as lamps. A power strip can be used to remove power when the plug is inaccessible. You can leave the main power on when accessing the game deck for software replacement or controller repair. You only need to turn off the game deck for these tasks. Plug the display in or turn the power strip on only after access covers, lamps and other electrical components have been replaced. Never remove a television or monitor housing. These units store several thousand volts of electricity, even when the power is off. This repair is best left to professional service technicians. Ladders can make your work easier and faster, if you use them with safety in mind. The following guidelines will prevent a fall from occurring while using ladders. 
Always wear the proper shoes. NMI appearance guidelines were created with your safety in mind and require specific footwear for your protection. Shoes with high heels, open toes, and sling backs pose a risk when climbing ladders and must be avoided. Always inspect a ladder before using it. Be sure it is in good condition and free of hazards. Make sure it's tall enough to reach the area where you need to work. Move the ladder as close to the work area as possible. Never reach sideways more than an arm's length. Doing so could make the ladder unstable and cause injury. Avoid using the top rung as ladders become unstable under these conditions. Each day you take precautions to make your life safer. You lock your doors, you may have an alarm system at your home, or you may think twice about walking alone outside at night. Whatever safety precautions you take, they're most likely a part of your daily routine. Precautions with your automobile are equally important. Before leaving for the day, always ensure that your car is in good working order. Make sure you have plenty of gas. Carry emergency equipment with you, such as a first aid kit, fire extinguisher, flares, jumper cables, spare tire and jack, blankets, and water. Wear your seatbelt and lock your door. Follow the rules of the road. Drive defensively keeping a watchful eye on the other drivers. While many people have elected to carry a cellular phone as a safety precaution, Nintendo does not support the use of a cell phone while driving a vehicle. Being a representative for NMI means time spent in parking lots, gathering and replacing equipment for store calls. Because of this, it's very important that we practice security conscious procedures. Avoid parking near occupied vehicles. Look around before getting out of your car or exiting the building and be aware of your surroundings. Cover Nintendo marked materials as these can be a magnet for thieves and always lock your car. When walking to or from your car, stay in well-lit or busy areas. NMI policies mandate that we work standard business hours. However, if you must return to your car after dark, have your key in your hand so you can quickly enter your car. If you're uncomfortable returning to your car alone for whatever reason, do not hesitate to ask store personnel or security to escort you. What's your responsibility as an employee? Know the emergency procedures and practice accident prevention. It's important to follow the fitness for work policy Nintendo wants to remain an environment free from the effects of drugs and alcohol. The use or possession of illegal drugs or alcohol while at work or on company premises is prohibited. This policy prohibits the use of prescription or non-prescription medication, which is likely to impair an employee's work performance or create a safety hazard. This policy also provides for substance testing if there's a reasonable belief that someone is under the influence of illegal drugs, alcohol, prescription, or non-prescription medication. All employees must consent to testing as a condition of employment. For employees who are unable to return to their normal duties while recovering from injuries, temporary transitional duty is available. Transitional duties like what? Packing smaller and lighter loads in the store to decrease stress on the body. Yes, keep it light. These are the better, I say. Exactly, Leo. The medical needs of each individual will determine the length of this transitional period. We'll contact your medical provider to get information on the type of work you can perform. We'll ask if you can perform your duties with or without reasonable accommodation. The success of the safety program is the responsibility of everyone at Nintendo. All employees are expected to actively support and participate in the company's effort to maintain a safe and healthy work environment. Contact your supervisor if you have any questions or concerns. Question! Save it for your supervisor, Wario. I am my supervisor. Well then, you have a terrible boss. I learned a lot today, so I know that is a hazard on my feelings. Whatever you say, Wario. For everyone else, make sure to play it safe. 
that's easy for you to say. You don't have all sorts of little creatures trying to steal your coins, punch you into a pancake, or crazy clown guys uh, doing some sort of a weird clown dance and giant heads sliding down at you in the snow. I tell you, sometimes I just don't want to get up in the morning. It's just not safe. And I don't sleep well either. Someone in my castle snores, and I'm not sure what it is. But when I find out I'm going to go in there, I'm going to...